All right, this video will be on me climbing a tower. Right now we're currently at 20 miles an hour wind. Top speed was 30. As you can see, 20 miles an hour wind. And the thing, the anemometer up there is spinning away crazy. And there is no movement of the turbine at all. So false advertisement from Tessa does not work in winds like this. Uh, it is extremely high. It's above the tree lines. It's out in free clear air. Uh, I'm going to climb up to see if the brake is applying brake for some reason or if it's just a malfunction of the turbine. So it spun freely before I put the thing up and now I'm going to check it out. So I'll climb the tower and I'll be back. So it felt a little stiffer than normal. I'm going to go take the wires off the interface box and see if the thing starts to spin freely. I'll let the video run for now. Uh, the winds are kicking up there. So it's probably definitely uh, well over 10 knots what's required to spin that thing.
Okay, we have 18 knots of wind right now. That is completely disconnected from everything. So the wires are free, turbine is free to spin. Uh, it's open, we got 18 knots right now. It's blasting between 15 and 18. So, and that thing is still not moving. I'm gonna climb the tower one more time, take a spin on it to see what it feels like by itself sitting up there vertically and uh, see if I can get the thing to actually uh, spin under these winds. Here's 23, it's peaking 23 right now. I mean, it's kicking up there. I mean, if you could hear the wind noise in the background, it's over above, above me and behind the trees here, but uh, it's, it's moving, the wind's moving here. So, as you can see, the anorama just spin away up there. 23 plus, there we go, 17. So it's gusty and it's, it's blowing. It's pretty steady above 15, which is well beyond uh, Tessup's claim for spinning this rotor. So this turbine does not work or function as promised. So modifications will be needed and a lawsuit should be ensued by people around the world against Tessup. Put them out of business, false advertisement. There we go. And they have no live demonstration of their turbine working at all. So, sort of disappointed because the one guy in Spain, uh, he has one of these and he shows it on a rooftop spinning away, but doesn't have any data or anything on it. Just real slow, but it's spinning in the wind. This thing's in the wind and there's nothing, nothing happening. So, <clears throat> massive failure on Tesla's part. So there you have it, no spinning of the Tessup, it's complete junk, never buy the Tessup, matter of fact we have to do a lawsuit against them, false advertisement that does not function in that speed, nor wind, nor generate anything. I just went up there, Helen spun it, feels the same as when the wires are connected up to the interface, same type of friction from just the weight of it. I mean, the wind was kicking up there. It's extremely cold. It's uh, 25 degrees right now, so, uh, and pretty windy. Like I said, it's it's holding up there. The wind up above everything right now, it's saying 15 knots, bounce between 10 and 15. So it's uh, max speed, like I said, 30, 30 knots. So Tesla has false claims on wind speed kicking in. Uh, it takes just a little bit more force than what the wind is producing right now at those speeds. 
I'd have to probably say a solid 30 to 40 knots somewhere in that neighborhood. That thing might start spinning. Highly doubt it though, for some reason. I don't know why. Test up junk. All right, I'll do a short video just for the show of wind speeds in a little bit. I'll show you the uh, disconnect too. It's uh, still going at 13, solid 13 right now. No movement. I don't expect it to change any, so. Those three wires right here, these three wires run from here to the generator. That was nice, huh? Run here, go right out there, go out a PVC tube on the other side, underground, all the way to the generator. No cuts, no splices, no nothing. So, this thing should be reading something on it, but it's not because this generator's not spinning. And those are the three wind inputs for this model i gotta get that on there so anyway that's the three wind inputs then it's got a break i thought maybe the brake was affecting it so i took the wind off there to see if it free spins nothing and the brake is in this position this is the ones that feed the inverter positive and negative that's the brake i've been using the ones that actually came in the two uh ones from tessup since they're cheaply made and everything i just figured i might as well use them so there you go. That's it. Three wires off. I got to find out from people out in the YouTube world to hear your thoughts on what do you think the problem is besides just the turbine. All right, we'll talk later.